Hello everyone, in this video I will show you a demo of enrolling fully managed company owned Android device. So in our endpoint portal we will go under Android and go to Android enrollment. Here we see four enrollment profiles. The first one is for BYOD scenario. The second one is corporate owned fully managed dedicated devices or the shared or kiosk devices. The third one is corporate owned fully managed uh, device. So in this, the device is corporate owned and it's fully managed by, by the company. So there is no distinction between uh, user data or company data. The last one is uh, company owned, but it is not fully managed. So this one has a boundary between company data and personal data. In this video, I will show you a demo of corporate owned fully managed user device. So I will click on it and it gives me an option here to allow users to enroll corporate owned user device so which i would enable because otherwise uh, i would have to enable enrollment through android enterprise zero touch for which i do not have an account because this is my personal intune tenant so i have uh, enabled the enrollment token now on my device i will reset it and after the reset i will go through the enrollment process here is my Android 9.0 device which I have reset and now I will first connect it to internet and then do a company enrollment as a fully managed company device. Now at the sign in screen, we will not put in our username. Instead of that, we will put in a string which is a f w hash. So this is the string a f. We will put in this string a f w hash setup and click on next. So we will not put in our user ID here. So now it knows that it has to enroll into company because we put that string afw hash setup i would skip the face lock now i will have to scan the qr code So now it has scanned the QR code for my Intune portal, which was for corporate or fully managed user device. Now it is updating the device. So it will take few minutes and then it will ask us to put in the user ID and password for our Intune uh, licensed account. Now I will put in the user ID and password for the account with Intune license. Now it is giving me the screen to install work apps. So it will install Microsoft Authenticator and Intune. Apps are installed, so I will click on next and click on register the device. Sign in. So this is device category which I put in Intune so I will select one of them. Done. So now the device has been registered as a company device, fully managed uh, company owned device. So if I go to Play Store I will not see any app here. I will only see the apps which have been published through my Intune and also under all the apps list I do not see any other apps listed here so now this device is acting as a fully managed corporate device and now we'll go back to Intune portal and see whether it shows up there or not in Intune I see the device registered here so it is showing 
me the device name and it's managed by Intune ownership is corporate OS is Android and it's fully managed OS version is 9 it's showing me other device information here so I do not have a sim card in it so it's not showing me any phone number and let's go to Azure AD and see whether this device appears in Azure AD or not so I see the device here it's showing Azure AD registered and it shows uh, the owner of the device as me as I have put in my user ID and registered the device so here it is so this was a demo on how to register a Android device as a fully managed uh, corporate device in next video I will show you a demo of uh, registering the device as a corporate device but with work profile so it won't be fully managed and we'll have a separate partition for personal data i hope you like this video and please like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye bye